you our comrade Ivan Ivanovich Privalov. In 1961, you were selected for the Shukovgrad Interonaut Exploration Programme SSSR. Despite failing your basic physical and being caught cheating on your entrance exams, on the morning, of the 12th of April 1962, you boarded a rocket drill containing the experimental device Little Orpheus with the purpose of descending through the Earth's crust to discover the relative hollowness of the interior and its suitability for colonization. No, you've lost me, General. Did I do what? You and Little Orpheus were dropped into an extinct volcano to drill to the center of the Earth and find out if we could establish a city there. Note, if you will, that this date is over three years ago. Ivan Ivanovich, can you describe Little Orpheus to me? Of, of course. <laughs> it was uh, large and round and had something of a disagreeable smell. I was referring to its technical specification. Well, General, I am no man of science. But it had this uh, radio thing that I was supposed to use to let the surface know I had arrived. And uh, some sort of battery wrapped in this lead box. But I was told to not touch anything under any circumstances. And I did notice the engineers who worked on it were quite a shifty bunch. The little Orpheus device contained a radio transmitter capable of sending a signal through miles of solid rock. In order to boost this, a powerful energy source was required. An atomic bomb, comrade Prevalv. An atomic bomb that you have lost somewhere below the Earth's crust. Ah, yes. That bomb. <laughs> of course, General, I can explain everything. But it is a long and uh, somewhat complicated story. And let me assure you, this is not a case of milking chickens. But you won't understand where your bomb and little Orpheus has ended up unless I start at the very beginning and you let me tell you where I've been for the last three years.
from the beginning then. But this had better be good. Good, General. It's more than good. It's extraordinary. And it began like this.